welcome to this tutorial. My name is Luke with Puffingston. And today I want to talk about animations and uh, grouping for a little bit more advanced animations. So I've got this scene here and I actually created this scene pretty much completely from stock images through the Prezi. So here you can see my trees, the house image, my sun and cloud. So this is something you can actually recreate yourself if you'd like. So the story I want to tell today is this house started off without any trees around it and slowly trees grew uh, over time. So one of the first things I want to do is I actually planted a sticky note on the door here. It says plant some trees. So I want to illustrate that someone had the idea to originally plant these trees and that's how this whole process got started. So the way you animate, there are a couple of ways. You can be, when you're in edit path mode, which I click on the bottom left here, I can click on this star here and that'll actually take me to uh, my animation scene. Or if you prefer, you can right click on the frame you want to animate in and choose animate frame contents. So depending on which you prefer, both will get you to the same area. So you animate by just clicking on the item you want to fade in. So rather than it just being there at the beginning of the frame, it'll actually come in when you click on it with your keyboard. So let's say I want to have the sticky note appear first and then the text. Um, so I've selected those. If I want to preview what that'll look like, I just hit the play at the top right. And let's say I really want to show it, I'll go into presentation mode. And so now I'm going to click the keyboard once. There's my sticky note, click it twice, and there's my text. So that worked great. I'm going to click next, which is the next frame I've set up here. So here's my scene where I want to animate in the trees. But I don't want to animate the trees in all at once. I want to show them in different layers or different groups of growth. So what I'm going to do is actually select these trees that are smaller and have them animate in first then the middle trees, then the larger trees, and then of course that last tree there. That's my plan at least. So the way I do that is I have to group these items to animate them in at once rather than have them uh, appear individually. So I'm going to click on the small tree and now I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and click on the other three. Once I've got them selected, I'm going to choose group, and now I'm going to animate them in and click on this group anywhere here. And you can see when I hold down over the group, it shows all four highlighted. I click on that, and then now I can see that they'll animate in together. But of course, those are just appearing. I want all the different layers to appear after that group. So next, I'm going to select the second row of trees do the same thing. Select my third layer of trees, group those two together, and then finally I'll have my last tree there. I don't need to group it because that's going to come in by itself. So I go back to animate frame contents. So I've already got my first one there. I don't need to touch that, but now I can click on my second one, my third one, and uh, my individual fourth tree here. So now I want to preview what that looks like. Just click play and now I can see those trees growing over time and really getting the effect I want to achieve. So now the story makes a little bit more sense and actually I want to even start off I'm going to click on edit path I want to start off with this scene before I even zoom into my sticky note so I'm going to put that there and put it first. Now since that first one doesn't have any animations um, but later those trees do animate in this first scene is actually going to appear without any trees. So I'm going to click on present mode. So now you can see my house there and it has no trees. So now I'm going to click right on the keyboard, zoom in to my door. Here comes my sticky note, plant some trees, zoom back out, and now we'll get to see the trees come in. One, two, three, four. You can see I've got a really neat scene there. And then at the end, I wanted to show a, a young child who was excited about their home. So that's how this whole process works. The grouping and the animations can really add some more life to your Prezi without having to be constantly just zooming around. You can add uh, another 
nice layer of effects to your presentation. All right, so this was Luke with Puffingston, and look forward to more tutorials coming forward. Thank you.